Hey guys, Water North here, and this is episode 13 of the Let's Play series I'm doing for the game The Colonists. So we are on mission number five, gold in them their hills, and we are looking for gold, and also, I'm looking for gold, because our main mission is to build a large monument. So we've never experienced gold before yet playing this game, so that's exciting. We are looking for gold, we're expanding our borders, trying to find it could be on another whole island for all we know but also we need glass from the glassworks that's another thing we've never really experienced yet in this let's play series so upward and onwards here we go we got the basic uh mineral supplies we got uh residents going for level one energy we do have a upgrade going right now in the workshop uh for science one for faster research speeds I think the next thing we should work on, because it's quite important, is L2 energy. Looks like our L1 energy is pretty decent. As I say that, I checked this, we're still a little bit short. Okay, we might have to get a little bit more L1 energy before we move on, but... I One thing I do know, we need more food. To get, if especially if you want more energy production it eats a lot of food but right now reducing current 5.3 potential 6.7 our demand is already six now there is fish here so if we just expand expand our boards a bit this way we'll be able to get that fish how about right there? That covers the whole fish supply. Let's keep that basic line going southwards. Speed up a bit, so I will. That's what we'll do next. We'll get the fish going with some fishing huts. Our research is complete. Science 1 right here is complete. Uh, military we won't worry about because as far as I know, there aren't any any enemies. Boat building might be smart to do. I don't know yet if we... Like there could be gold on a different island or something. We're, we're not really sure. Uh, sapling growth by 15%. That's not bad either. Or we could do mining. Mining speed. Let's do the mining speed. And then next, maybe I'll do the upgraded surface mines, because I'm sure we will need that fairly soon. So here's our new watchtower being completed. Oh, look at this. That's kind of neat. And it seems like we're kind of blocked. Look at all these trees. But we got our new watchtowers up and running. Yeah, look at if we want to go left here. Water's in our way. Stone's in our way. Forest in our way. And down here, more forest. So we could get a lumberjack right in here to start chopping those trees down. I have to do that. But first, like I said, let's start grabbing those fish. Here's a fishing hut. How many can we fit in here? I flip this. Maybe here? Let's put one down. Two. And once the quartz is done, we could get three in here. But for right now, it looks like the best we can do is two. That's fine. I'll take it. And we will, of course, connect both both new fishing huts. So they're going to build that. And I say, let's continue on our expansion. I'm going to put one watchtower in there so we can start harvesting those trees. Why not? Let's keep expanding southward, see what's down there. 
follow the beach southwards a bit. Connect that. I'm gonna put a. Did I put a junction point? Yeah, let's do this. Looks a little funky, but that's fine. There we go. Here comes all the wood to construct our fishing huts. Speed her up a bit. That'll give us... Oh, nice. Both are already done. That'll bump up our food production by 2.6 a day. There they are already hard at work. Fishing. Nice. Mining speed has been upgraded. That's awesome. So, yeah, I said I wanted to do mining one. Unlocks mining of coal, iron ore, clay, and salt. Like, I mean, we will need this. 100% we will. So let's research that. Nice having a workshop, like, constantly researching something. All right. We have expansion going here. Expansion going down there. Actually, this one, watch out, will be completed. We have nice food production going. Both watchtowers are done. We can expand our borders, and I am. Oh, gold dis deposit within sight. Here it is. Nice. Hey, we have gold over there. So we can pretty much start... Oh, you get there, just path, just regular path can make there. What is this? Salt deposit. Wow. Okay, so no matter what, we do need L2 energy. What am I upgrading there? Look at that space. We could have like a huge farm, maybe two or three of them. Let's do a lumberjack hut. Let's start bashing our way through there. To connect it like that. Can I make this work. Nice. Speed her up a bit. They're gonna be chopping down there, which will give us access to this huge area here. All right. Now for L2 energy, it needs food, water, and cider. So we'll, we'll, we will need a orchard. Where's a good spot to throw that? Even this corner? Quite a bit of room that we won't be using. Uh, I like that. Build an orchard and why not, since we're there, we'll get the cider press built and ready to go. Good spot. Let those two buildings build. Okay, so it looks like this surface mine is done. So I say we destroy it. Oops. Yes. Destroy. And just to keep our lumber production. Nice and healthy. Let's get another lumberjack hut here. Like that. And then one more forestry. Connect it as usual. And with this forestry, I'll make sure lots of saplings are being grown. Here comes all the wood to build the, these new buildings. There's our new forestry. Let's tell them to start plopping down some trees. Kind of fill it all up. Got its work cut out for it. Poor little robot. But we need trees. Badly. Let's just keep going. 
There we go. And if need be, we can always build another forestry, but I'm hoping that will be a enough. Oh, this forestry is also done. It is busy working. Yeah, let's get some... Oh, our, uh, yeah, Cypress is done. Nice. So that's just waiting on our orchard, because it needs apples. So let's get some L2 residents just queued up and ready to go. Could put it here. Uh, no, you know what? Right near the orchard wouldn't be a bad spot. Kind of like that. Let's get a road. It's a little goofy. I'll plop it down there now. I need to get rid of it. Not that hard to do. What is the orchard waiting on planks? Our sawmill is busy at work. The planks are making their way down. Oh, there's our little forestry bot. Busy planting new saplings. Has a big demand for planks now with all those new residents, but... He's going 24-7, hard at work. He'll catch up. I believe in our robot settlement. <laughs> They're hard workers. Telling us we should build anything else right now? Find coal? No, no, no. That's fine. Alright, so they're building that as soon as this is up and running. I almost should have just waited to pop the residence down because we need the planks for orchard. But all we need is one more plank. Should be coming soon. And then we could plop the trees on lots of room behind them here. We could fill that up. There it is. Our first orchard. Plop it down. We need ten groups of apple trees going to be a issue. Oh, nice. We can get all the way down here. Uh, and one more. Nice. I'll start producing our first apples. There he is, hard at work, the farm bot, Mickey. Nice. We've got the apples that will come right into the cider press like this, and now the cider press is hard at work, making us cider. And that cider will go into these three level 2 residents to provide us with some level 2 energy. Alright, mining one is done. What else can we do here? Um, we could upgrade to a level 2 workshop. But actually, we need saplings pretty bad. For all those new lumberjack huts. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this first. It increases the sapling growth by 15%. That's pretty big for us. So let's do that first. And then next, we will upgrade the workshop. And we just need to do the upgrade planks and stone, which we do produce already. We should be good in that aspect. Speed her up a bit. I wonder if we should do a storage unit here for all this wood. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Can I get a big one in there? I can. Let's do that. Look at these uh, lumberjack huts. They're not even working. These logs have nowhere to go. But even if I just put like 10 or something like that in the storage yard, I think it'll help a lot. When we also have a big building project that needs lots of logs, we will have them ready to go in the storage area. 
there it is. Storage yard already complete. Let's throw logs. Let's do an extra. How about some stone? Let's just do like a extra six ready to go. Planks, seems like we always need that too. Let's put six in there. That's good for now. Just a little bit extra that will be always ready for us when we do decide to build something new. Nice, so that's filling up with logs, planks, and stone. Our research is complete, so we will be growing saplings a lot quicker, and I upgrade the workshop to level 2. So then once that's done, ooh, we can even increase the sapling growth even more. But we need tools, we do not have that. So it looks like a lot of the next things we, a lot of the next upgrades we need, it looks like we need tools. So, thinking, that is the next thing we need to work on, is getting our tool production going. So you get tools by the blacksmith. The blacksmith needs coal and iron. And we get iron by getting a blast furnace, which needs coal and iron ore. The blast furnace is the, th is the building we need to build. Iron ore and coal. This is clay. There's our coal deposit. How about iron ore? What is this here? Iron ore. Is that the only place we have it? Ooh, there's a lot, a lot of iron ore down there. I'm going to actually build a storage yard right here. I'll do it here. Oh, that wouldn't even fit. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one there. And I'm going to tell it to start putting logs in there because we need to get into here with a path to put a mine so we can get that iron ore. And that yields unlimited iron ore. If it's underground, I believe it's unlimited. A surface mine here only has a set amount. So this should be unlimited so that we can get unlimited cold there. Okay, the workshop is completed. There's our new workshop, level two. So we can't do any of that, those upgrades, because we need tools. Can't do that because we need bricks. Yeah, we need... <laughs> I mean, quite apparently, we need tools badly for any level two upgrades we want. Yes, we do. So we can't do, actually do any level two upgrades or yet. We need tools. So to get this coal deposit, we will need to expand our borders a bit more. There it is. Just connect it up like so. So they can expand our borders and we will build a mine to get that coal. Ah, the storage yard is complete. I'm going to tell it. Throw some logs in there. Well, there we go. So that'll fix this issue. Because he wasn't chopping down any, any trees for us. So we need to get in there to get that iron ore. So now he's working because... All the access logs will be in the storage yard now. Perfect. And we'll check with this watchtower. It is almost complete, it has all the wood it needs. Just gotta wait for the guard bot to go in there, expand our borders. There it is. Now, we can start getting that coal. Shaft mine. Perfect spot for that. 
I fit another road in there? I can. Excellent. Nice. So we have the coal bean mine. See how this is doing. Can we get a path in there yet? No, we can't. We'll need some trees to be cut down. But, might as well, we can use all his wood he's collecting for a new watchtower to expand our borders yet again. That works. All the little beach here. There we go, that's connected. That will use this wood. Perfect. We'll not have to wait long for this to be built. Look at the wood just coming instantly. Nice. Are there any more fish in this water? No, eh? Doing a good job getting rid of those trees for us. So we can get the path through. And look at this empty land we can expand on. Very nice. Our first coal is created, look at that! Awesome! So how's our L2 energy production doing? We are currently making only three a day. We have potential for needing five a day. So our L2 production, we need more. Uh, so it gets alcohol from the cider, food, and water. Let's take a look at the cider. Has potential to make four day. We might need another orchard, and I'm assuming we'll also need more food. Uh, we produce potential to produce. 9.4 so yeah might need more food production I just hate how the sheep farm takes so much room and I fit another one in here with all 50 hmm or I build on this side oh look at that we have a path I get that in there before the trees grow back. Then again, I might need I might not be able to build a path here. Because where would the shaft might have to go? The path where I was gonna place it might be in the way. Uh shaft mine. Yeah, it will be in the way. I need the path to go like this. Yeah, it's gotta go this way. Darn it. I'm gonna tell him to throw more wood in there. There we go. So he's back at work. Clear all those trees out. And then, yeah, L2 energy is going to be pretty important for us. So I am going to get our fruit production up. With a sheep farm. Just going to throw the sheep farm. Uh, what should I do it here? They'll have room for the mine. And I'm going to throw it there. Just to get our L2 energy production up. Sheep farm already completed. Let's get those sh pastures going. Once again, we need 50 of them. There's 12. In a line like that. 
know what? I'm just going to go right to the path. Let's fill that all up. Yeah, I'm doing it. Two more. One, two. There we go. That'll give us a lot more food production. I'm just going to make some L2, level 2 residents, maybe down here. Just to give us some energy production for any, like the miner that will be eventually here in the quartz mine, so it doesn't have to get, travel all the way from the north here. This, would, this place would be good for an orchard. We do an orchard back here. Let's see. Do that. Make a orchard like that. And hopefully I can fit all the apple trees here. Hoping it works. We'll have lots of food production. Oh, nice. Look at that. Trees are all gone now. Let's set the shaft mine so we know where it needs to go. Uh, can I flip it? There we go. Make the all important connection. Nice. Orchard is complete. Let's lock down the orchard fields. Oh, we don't have enough room for all of them. Actually, no need to fret. Let's do this. Just short. There we go. And then I'm just gonna cut this path off. Sorry guys, you have to go all the way around now, but we want to get full production out of our orchard. And just like that, we now have room. Nice. So our orchard will be working at full capacity. Let's get more cider production. Oops, right in here. Place it close. Why not? I'll even get more well, or sorry, water production for our very soon to be built L2 resins. That'll be all up and running. L2, one, two, three, let's do three for now, and connect it up, like that. Those are all big construction projects we have. Well's already done. Look at all, the, all those uh, supplies and whatnot make their way down. Look at that. It's working well though. Not too much of... You see a couple of mad robots, but stuff that are moving, moving their way down fairly quickly. Shaft mine is complete. Now, so we have the iron ore. We have the coal. So with a blacksmith, Oh no, sorry, we want the Blast Furnace. Because that will produce iron from our iron ore and coal, which we now have. And then with that iron, 
the iron can go into the blacksmith and get us tools. Where do we want to blast a furnace? That works for me. And then we can go ahead and also build the blacksmith. It needs coal, planks, iron. Iron will be coming from this building here. Here's the coal and planks is in our sawmill right there. So this is a good spot for that. Speed her up. Things are looking good. And with those tools, we can do a lot of level two research. But pretty much everything, because everything in the L2 workshop for the level two researches needs uh, tools. Construction speed, oh, we will need bricks. Just decide what we'd want to our first upgrade. Oh, wheat farming. It's another thing we haven't seen before. There's so many new buildings to try out in this mission. So our new orchard's up and running it is already producing cider. Actually, our residents are have nowhere to put their L2 energy. Let's L2. Let's say I uh, have six ready to go at all times. We might as well get a clay mine. We, I'm thinking we will need brick production, brick yard. We need brick making, making research. Okay, well I guess we don't need to plop that down yet. What is he working on? Or waiting on stone? Could almost get a away with one more surface mine for more stone. Let's do that. Surface mine. Let's do two of them. So that's connected. Now to unlock the rest of the stone, we will need to get a watchtower in there. Ooh, ooh, can I fit a... I didn't even think of that down here. Can I fit one in here? Oh no! Oh, that's... that's not good. That's not good. I can't fit. What happens if I do that? It's still not enough. So I need to get into this way. I screwed up. Ooh. Can I flip it? Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot you can flip it. Okay. Crisis averted. I thought I'd have to delete this shaft mine and. Ooh. Yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> So that will build. Then we have lots of room if we need more orchards, or actually, I wouldn't mind doing a growing some wheat in this open spot. So you can choose either bread or to make um, alcohol. That's almost done. Just like that. Blast Furnace is complete. Blacksmith is com complete. We got the new area. Salt mine, what else is there? Would underground deposit of clay, which means it's unlimited. Alright. So we're getting our like second tier production buildings going. Look at the blacksmith. Over here now creating us tools. 
We have the Blast Furnace, create us iron. Yeah, things are coming along. On our way to building the large monument, which we do need uh, gold and glass. So we're working our way towards there. Look at this area. All the trees, nice. That upgraded sapling growth sure helped. All right, guys, but I think that will be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. And if you want to continue seeing this Let's Play or other Let's Plays I'm doing, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. So that will be it for me today. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you next time.